Hey guys, it's GT Gamer 5 here again. Welcome back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares. We are in an elevator to room 200. So we 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 What are these noises? Anyway, we started at room 0, as you may have if you haven't watched the last video. If you haven't watched the last video, just click on the card that just popped up right now so you can see the first episode or it should just appear in either the outro, well it will appear in the outro because I'm the one that edited it or the um Suggestion box. So anyway, we are continuing from 200 to 400. Let's go. <clears throat> so. Oh. God, first go. First room. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central pro protagonist would and hope this is one of the, those stories. Answer obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. <laughs> Spiderwebs? I'm getting out of here. What are all these? Hot water cylinders? These ambiences are scaring me a wee bit. I don't like that torch wall pattern. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that was, that's like a re raid version of the... Oh crap, it's that green thing again. Oh no. Where the hell am I? Oh my god, this is... This is creepy. I like this ambience though. It's kind of relaxing. I hate I hate the sound of my footsteps. Ladies and gentlemen, what's what's my computer doing? Ah, go away, Cortana. Hang on. Um, how do I get rid of saying hello? There we go. I don't, I'm not sure if that popped up on your screen, but on my screen, Cortana just popped up. I'm just going to take very slow footsteps. I'm not going to bother exploring anything. I just want to get out of this dark. Jeez, where, what the hell is this? I can't see a thing. Oh crap, it's another thing. Run away! Oh god, what the hell is going on? I don't even know where I'm... I'm getting a slight fogginess and... It looks like that room just turned red. Yeah, it's turning red. Oh god, now that's double the scariness right there. Oh god, I, where, where the hell am I? There we go. Oh good, it does eventually disappear. I was thinking that if I was in there when the room was working too long, that the whole thing would go kaboom. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh my god, you're so slow! Should be easy to outrun. Another one of these? Like, how many of these have I run through throughout this entire game? <laughs> Sounds like the fire alarm that goes off here. Cause, um, yeah. No, I haven't evaded him yet. How do you like my impression of that? Yeah, let's have some fun. Sir! Okay, I'm out of here. Did I evade him? Sweet. Let's take this one this time. It's 
against those arcade games again. I keep thinking I'm able to turn this one on. Is there a note around here? No, let's go. That green octopus jump scare, that really, really got me. Like I had no idea there was something like it. I thought I was just a babyish looking things. Oh my god. There's like tens of thousands of these. <laughs> I don't really like going through these, it slows down my progression. And slow progression is not me. Unless if we're playing most wanted. <laughs> oh no! Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might the, be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gives descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like, ooh, hey, we need to find that computer. That'll come in handy. Doop doop doo doop doo. And we're, oh, hello, Spooky. So, you made it this far. That's, uh, that's great. I shall grant you a gift for your progress. So, uh, so just keep going. You see? I knew she was friendly. Hmm, nice night picture right there. Alright. Look behind you. Oh, hey look! All the jump scares have come round to cheer for my progress! How exciting! Password pumpkin. Maybe he's not so friendly after all, but Hello. at least she didn't kill me. No, you didn't get me right there. I got a s sneezy feeling, guys. Hang on, what's this? <coughs> Uh, okay, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I sneeze. <laughs> so what's this? You are here, I am where? This is just like a whole bunch of Tetris squares or something. Wait a second. Is this like the whole house or something? I th it looks like the whole entire thing is shuffling around. <laughs> Sneaky bastards. Alright, let's carry on. This hall's pretty skinny. That looks like hell. Hell. Oh. oh. Hey, look, it's that developer room again. Long distance jump scares. Those I hate. Those I hate. Mm. Get to room one thousand. I must. Mm. <laughs> That's my impression of Yoda. Although I'm not really good at it. My dad does the best at it. What's this? This must be the brain of something else. Let's get out of here anyway. I'm starting to get used to this. I mean, I'm not really getting as jumped as I was, but... Green puddles. Oh god! That one got me. Like, you just popped out as soon as I started running. Like. Uh oh, that bug thing's coming up. Yep, I knew it, 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 I'm out of here. Now let's go see him. Let's go say hello to him, shall we? No. I'm not going to.
Probably gonna be popping up by the ceiling any minute. I'm still gonna. Ooh, a skeleton. What's this? Oh well. That's a lot of hot water cupboards. Oh well. Ghosts need water. Oh my god. They all seem pretty much the same. That sounded scary. So, another elevator's at 300, and then I'm halfway through this episode. Although I probably won't be halfway time-wise, but room-wise, I am. I don't like that. I don't get it. Those room, that room, that wall just like popped out right in front of me. And we're in the elevator. Yep, I write about the 300 rooms prediction. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonist will look like. I hope they're cute. I think he or she's referring to Spooky. Now let's go down the elevator first. GL Labs? That must be where I was when I found that bug. Multi league bug thing. Oh, it's a great Pikachu! That's pretty cute. I know, I, I never really liked it. I still think Pikachu is kind of cute. Oh god, this one's going to be a scary one. Oh shit, I think there's something after me. What is that? Probably the bug. Let's not wait around to find out. I'm getting out of here. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of Egyptian temple thing. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So one night, some of the town's folk people threw all his pu took all his puppets and threw them into the river. Assholes. Oh, a key. Oh, there's another note. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, quailing and wailing that his children were being drowned children. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople bitter, people bitter and still angry watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. I think those puppets were this guy's children and processed and stuff. I did see, yeah. I honestly thought these would be gates that you could open. I don't think we could pass through them. Hmm. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to go around and find another key. Oh, it's this one. Oh, look, there's another one. Although... Hang on, let's check this side. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed 
Hang on, I think I get the story. Puppets were children. Those puppets were possessed, and they've been stealing the children and I think turning them into puppets. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Oh shit. Someone died here. Oh well, at least I got that key to that skull door. My next scary place adventure thing lies ahead. So here we go. Oh shit! Sure! It's a scary thing! Leave me alone! Oh no, not another labyrinth. Hello! Oh god, he can float! This guy can float! No, I'm not turning back. Oh crap, I got hit. And I got hit again. Did I die? Uh oh. I think I'm being turned into a puppet myself. No! Oh shit! This is gonna hurt! To become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. Ah! Oh look, a high score! GT game! Wait a minute, this is exactly the same as Game Maker. Exactly the same high score board look as my, the games that I make. Alright, I'm gonna get back to the room that I was in and try to run that puppet again. Okay, we're back in the elevator. Now I think I'm going to end up in that Egyptian pyramid thing again after the next oh. Okay. So it was room 310 when I was in that Egyptian temple. So I get I think um when I get to room 310 I'm going to end up in that place again. Oh, it's another brain. So many brains. Brains. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, we're back in the Egyptian thing. So the key was here. And then Here. Oh no, that's where the skull door is. I need to go find that key. That was right here. So it looks like I'm going to have to make another attempt at running, uh, running that same puppet. That gave me a fright. Although I didn't sound like it, as always. I actually did just get a fright. <laughs> hey, Jack Puppet! You want to come at me? You want to sew me up? You're going to have to come catch me first. Now, I never see him when he hit me. He seems to be like teleporting all over the place. Oh shit, I got hit during the room. But he seemed to be teleporting all over the place. Perhaps he's getting like lifted up and... Oh no. This is where I died. Leave me alone! I don't want to become a puppet. Oh shit, I'm going to die again. Okay, I'll be right back. So a jump scare popped up and there's another note. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure trial or leaving home scene. That means this story isn't following the archetypes to make a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. Well, it was nice for a little while at least. Alright, let's do it. I'm going to outrun him this time. Never take me alive! Fucking jump scares! That tree one got me good. Oh no, not again! Number one thing you're gonna hate when you're chasing, getting chased by the puppet is the labyrinth thing. 
you know, I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. Shit. Just kill me. Oh god, that's a scary look right there. Hey! You gonna kill me or something? Okay, I'm moving. That was a really scary, angry look, though. Nope, I died. Okay, guys, I have a bit of a strategy here. He didn't kill... He didn't kill me when I stopped. So, um, that must mean... That must mean that when my sprint has run out, I think I need to stop and let my sprint recover, and then... Um... And then once it's full, I just start running, and then... Once my spread ruts out, I stop, and then, then we're golden. I think that's going to be my strategy. We'll give it a go. But man, that was a creepy look on that puppet. Oh, hello! He, see, yep, he really came past her walls. But yeah, um, he had, he had quite a smug look on his face when he killed me. But um, when I looked at him, <laughs> that's quite scary, man. Jack Puppet. That was funny why they called him Jack Puppet. Alright. That beat, that dong dong, kind of puts a vibration in my feet. Like, it feels like it's like going around the room or something. I have no idea. Anyway, carry on. on. Alright, Jack Puppet. Let's see if my strategy works, shall we? See, he doesn't have that angry look of his when I see him at first. Fail. Did it get me this time? I seem to stop for like a quarter of a second when I get a jump scare. This music's kind of cool. Tree. Well, it looks like we have a luck. We're, we got lucky, guys. We still have hope to outrun that puppet. Because we are in no labyrinth. Okay. I think we can do it. Get away from me! I really don't like that noise he's making. Oh my god, he's still on my tail. Did I run him? Yes! Okay. Back into business. Now I can finally carry on. Um, what is this? Locked. I'm turning it down for a bit. I'm really scared. Oh, look. Way through. Ah, labyrinth. I don't know why that door was locked. Ah, it's another dead end. Specimen. Why am I calling them specimens? Oh yeah, it was on that note. They're called specimens. Oh look, another note. I... Ah, oh, it's that thing again. So. Yeah, that note back in the first episode. I kind of feel like I am prancing through the same rooms all over again. Room layouts, at least. Not really much of a difference to the uh, thing. Funny thing is, I have to keep adjusting my headset every now and then. My headset, it's a Turtle Beach Air Force P11 headset. The, an image just popped up, like, 
just right in front of this door so you guys know what it looks like. Oh, another note. Day two, food supply depleted, water supply at 30%, mental health, mental health deteriorating, leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Oh, well, this guy's quite a help. Looks like we're both going to be partners. Unless he died. Well, I hope I bought a food supply and a water supply. Yeah, hello to you too. You look like you're like saluting me. He's like at the end of a salute. Sup! Pumpkin. That was like two. That was like one in each room. Do 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 here. Uh, <coughs> got something down my throat. Oh my god, there's a lot of cobwebs. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I just passed room th 350 and there's no elevator. Mm, we're gonna have to find out at room 400. Oh no, not this again. Oh shit! Oh my god! What the hell was that? That never happened before. Oh my god, my heart's beating at like 300 per second. I'm just over exaggerating it, but really, you don't know. Oh, I look some boats. You really don't know how much of a scare that gave me. Day three, hallucinations are manifesting at increasing intervals. The cause is probably a sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, and I don't think it's the cause of a brain injury of a blood clot. So that must have been a hallucination I had. Oh my god. Another labyrinth. There's like about a million of these. Not really a million, because we only go through a thousand rooms. Probably like about 250 at the least? No idea. What was that thing anyway? It must have been some kind of hallucination. See, I knew I should have turned down that volume. Because last time I was in there, I didn't get scared by that monster, but I turned down my volume just in case, because it just seemed pretty scary with all the slender-like static and stuff, but I didn't turn it down this round, and I got a big scare out of it. Things are getting weavy and scary at the same time. Oh, Looks chandelier. Day four. I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I dele delegated to save it in case I find an excess. Why don't you just call for help? Mind you, you won't get any cell phone coverage down here, so. That makes sense. I mean, take photos around here so you can, like, uncover the mystery. I mean, this guy's delegating to save his phone's battery power. I'm not sure if he, I'm not sure if he here would have, like, an iPhone or something. I'm pretty sure he'll have one of the shitty flip phones that have, like, a pretty high battery life. So. What is that? I, I, I better run. Oh! Oh shit! 
It's another specimen. Hang on a minute. This must have been that specimen that I found in that school in the first episode. Oh, well, whatever. I better get out of here. Oh, it's the same old camp here. How about no? Oh sweet, an elevator. So, it really is a hundred rooms, each one hundred rooms. Day five, I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions and I'm having sudden heart pal 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 palpitations. Okay, so that's gonna be that's the end of this episode because we're on room 400. I got a big scare out of this one, really. If you um leave a like and the comment if you did get a scare in this one too, and subscribe to my channel, which will really support me because I'm starting to lose subscribers and I feel like I'm starting to fail again. So <clears throat> if this is the only video that you've seen on my channel so far, just um just like press the bottom right thing icon that's on your player. And as always. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.